There's more to flying drones than just taking pictures and video from the sky, right? Drones are a fit for purpose mapping tool. Over the next several episodes, I'm going to dive into some basic drone mapping terms. Orthomosaic, GCP, point cloud, NDVI, RTK, thermography, and we're starting right now. Hi everyone, welcome to Do You Know Drones, this is your host Jason. If this is your first time here, please check out the other videos on the channel. If you find something that you find useful, please feel free to share it, like, and subscribe. There's more content coming out every week. But first, this episode is brought to you by Skywatch AI Drone Insurance. Skywatch provides flexible insurance plans specifically designed for drone professionals and companies across the industry, from aerial photography and inspections to drone deliveries and light shows. With Skywatch AI, you can fly with peace of mind with advanced coverage tailored to your needs. Available online, visit www.skywatch.ai to get started. Maps have been around for thousands of years and being able to accurately portray a 3D curved surface like our globe onto a 2D map plane has been something that we have been studying for years. You may remember your eighth grade science teacher using an orange peel analogy. In order to draw a map of a surface of the orange, you have to find a way to flatten it. And you can only do that by cutting and stretching the peel in some places. This causes distortion. Okay, how does this relate to orthomosaics? Flattening the orange creates one type of distortion, and smaller project areas are less prone to curvature distortion. There's also distortion due to camera tilt, perspective, lens distortion, uh, environmental conditions, and terrain. Orthorectification removes these distortions mathematically to create geometrically corrected maps of uniform scale used to measure true distances. The good news is that there are several drone mapping platforms available on the market today that do all of this math for you, as long as you know what buttons to click and what parameters to set. A few of the solutions that I've evaluated are Drone Deploy, Pix4D, Agisoft, Skycatch, Propeller, Precision Hawk, and Maps Made Easy. This is far from an exhaustive list, as new players are entering the market all the time. So let me give you a few tips on how to create high quality orthomosaics. One, altitude and speed. These are trade-offs that you will learn over time. Flying higher will produce lower resolution images, but you can cover more area in a single flight. Consistent lighting is also necessary for high quality images, and overcast days are the best for most missions. Two, overlap. Make sure there's enough forward and side overlap during flight planning so that there aren't any gaps and distortion in the orthomosaic. Aim for 70% forward overlap and 60% side overlap. Three, image quality. Know your camera and your platform and set the correct contrast, aperture, ISO, and shutter speed to maintain high image quality. Four, image angles. Avoid non-nader images, any image that isn't pointed straight down. And don't use images taken during takeoff or landing. The world of drone mapping is growing and potentially intimidating, but also full of opportunity for the commercial drone pilot. Join me next week when I cover the alphabet soup that is GCPs, RTK, and PPK is at least at the end, you can eat the orange. Mm. Really digging the orange. Cheers.